Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I have a project for you guys um, to share with you guys. And there's also going to be a. Pro um, I'm going to also show how I did it um, at the end of this video. So what I want to show you guys is um, this is a project that I made using this Pink Fresh Studio, and I know you, some of you guys are like, "That's way different from what um from what I'm used to using." And I got and all of this came from ArtAttackSupplies.com, and of course, you guys, I will leave a link to the store in the description down here. Um, so, and also Tracy Shop, some of the papers come with some of the embellishments, but I also have the puffy stickers, the acetate cards. Where's the rest of this stuff? Okay. This it comes with that um, acetate with the, um, the feathers. There's these. I haven't used these yet. And these are like the first, if anyone's been watching, these are like the first actual stickers I've actually bought. Um, and it, it, the actual kit comes with this... Um, with what are these called? They're like vinyl um, tags. They're actually like vinyl. I mean, they're obviously rubber. Rubber charms. They're called rubber charms. Okay. So um, I used. Oh, and hold on. Where'd it go? What happened to it? There is. Wow. Super unprepared. There is. And also these triangle acetates. Um, acetate triangles. Acetate die cuts that I used in my card. So. Um, Basically, I wanted to make a few, uh, once again, you guys, I'm trying to stock up on my cards. Um, and I played on my, if I haven't mentioned it before, I will mention it again. I freaking love my Cameo, you guys. Um, ever since I got it, I think I've used it more than I've used my Cricut in the past year. Okay? I still have my Cricut expression, so. And yes, they basically have the same technology working for them, but I'm never able to get Cricut to work. So, and and, and you can't. Tell me it's my user error. I mean, like, I'm pretty smart when it... Well, I'm pretty okay when it comes to technology. And I do mean okay. Um, I have a brand new computer, so you can't tell me laptop. You can't tell me that, like, oh, it's my... St I've been told by the actual people from that company that, oh, it might be my faulty equipment. I'm like, my computer, my laptop isn't even, like, six months old. Like, seriously. Um, so, anyway. I digress. No bad talk. I mean, because I still have the cartridges. I still have it because I still plan to use it for uh, my licensed cartridges. Anyhow. So what I did is I, here we go, I took um, this phone, let me see if I can, yes, I took that image, this one which is one of the phone images, um, which is, well I should probably just move that, the phone image from um, the Silhouette store, and I don't have that program that records like what you work on and stuff like that because I said I'm okay with technology, I'm not like fantastic super at it. Um, so yeah, so it was that, and it's as you can see right here. It ha it's basically the several squares, some little um, quotes, whatever, and the little circles. So I went ahead and did what I did was I expanded it. So I wanted to make it an iPad, um, and of course I haven't mentioned what my cards are. They're iPad shaker, and I do say shaker in quotations because there's more of a of a floating shaker card. And I wanted to show how I met, someone had mentioned to show how I thought of using some of the cellophane bags that you can get like these, these little cellophane bags. Ah, this is a different size. This is like the 6x9 um, that you, and then Tracy has several different sizes. So you can make several different size cards. So I'll show you how I did it. Um, so I did that and I made it into an iPad because I love my iPad. Um, and then what I did was I took it from just having the face and then I separated it and I did the background. But what I did from there, I'm like, okay, I still have to figure out how it's going to open. So this is what I did. I um, replicated and flipped it. And then I basically welded it together. And as you can see right here, here will be the back. This is the front. Well, the front base because, and this is the actual front part. And I'll show you the pieces right now. This is going to go on top of this. Uh, hence why this has the little holes right there. So that's... How I uh, basically finagled that one out. Um, so yeah, and I used some of the papers, and I plan to make several of these. I just basically made my sample, and I cut up a few to... Um... Oh, and by the way, when you use this cardstock on your Cameo, I totally recommend that you use, um, when you put the settings, you don't put cardstock. This is some serious, I mean, this is like seriously um, thick cardstock. So it cut perfectly. On um, on heavyweight cardstock on that, which is I think is a uh, blade number seven. So anyway, uh, so here is my this is my sample. I always make a sample, and this one is just out of regular heavyweight cardstock. So this is you can see here's the card. 
this is the base that I showed you, and then on the front, oh, well, here's uh, on the front, I have is this with the little holes. This one's the home button. See, look, I have my iPad here. What am I doing? This is the home, this is the home button, the little speaker, and whatever. Um, I mean, the little uh, camera. So that's what I wanted to accomplish. They're just a little bit bigger to scale because I felt that they would show better. And then this, um, well, this is a spare one. Um, this would go, this goes right on top of it. But this is what I mean, look, here's the cellophane bag. And this is what I mean, bean, this is what I mean by, um, I'm a little tired, you guys. I worked all last night and like, like almost a double shift the other day. Um, so this, it, it's, it's, it's a shaker card. It does move. There's sequins in here. There's die cuts, several die cuts from the silhouette store. And, but the bag suspends it. See, so you have, um, I'm trying to get the ref not to get the reflection, so you have that in there, and see there's little holes and everything, and you can still write back here. There's so many things here, and there could be more. See here's the acetate triangles. These are some uh, uh, cut out stars. It says hello friend, um, and you can put the stuff in there, flatten it out, and it doesn't really move that much, but it does. You can actually get it to shake and move around a little bit. Oh, and I also took some acetate, um, some of these acetate cards oh, over here somewhere. These. And I cut, uh, I took this one and I cut up uh, circles with my, um, with what's the, the die? The, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> I totally forgot. It's the, uh, oh my, okay, you know what? So now I have to go get it. How embarrassing. See, this is why you should really prepare primitive hearts number three. That's what it's called. So I will show you guys that in a minute. Um, but that is the basic one and I wanted to make it white first. I'm like, oh, cause you know, iPads are white, but then I'm like, you know what? It's too plain. Let's kick it up a little bit. So I went ahead and cut some up from the paper and I'm missing, oh, here we go. So let's see here. This one is the paper, but the way I did it, and I wish I knew how to share files. My files aren't that great. I mean, seriously, I just basically finagle this stuff. It's like not amazing stuff. Um, but these are the cuts that I make and here's little squares that go inside and the cool thing with this here I'll show you on this one if you have um, okay like I like this I love this part not the biggest fan of the back part but what I plan to do is on the when it when it's folded and it's like this to put this one if I can get it to back there so it has more of a clear um, background because I feel like this distracts from what would be inside but anyhow this is what the cut is here is the original one and this is I'm going to score this and fold it over and then this is going to go on top of this and I save and I lost one the little circles that cut out because the plastic the acid the cellophane bag is going to be in the way and it might show so you can always put those back in there when you get your cut and all right so I'm going to go ahead and use my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And I have a line drawn on the sixth, all the way down. It's right in the middle of the board because sometimes you want to get something across. Like I can't do it here against the edge because it is, um, it is too far to the side. So I just center it right there. Make sure it's centered. And I love my bone folder so I do it softly because I don't want to I did tear some and I fold it Oop. I could fold it without dropping it of course that would be very very helpful so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it and score it I just want to make sure I have right on because one I did because it can be kind of finicky since this part is a little bit um a little bit to the to the side i mean a little bit small so see and it's going to cover it like this okay so at this point what we're going to do is i put the cellophane bag oh and let me show you i'm not sure if i showed you these clipboards oh, i did in the video how i have them in each section over one of my cubes this is where i have all of my little acetate my Sequence. Well, right now I put them by project so I can keep them on this giant clipboard. But these are the items that I cut out. These are all from the um, silhouette. And you can even use this, these stars. 
oops, excuse me, the stars have these little things in there, and this could be used as confetti as well. I cut out some hello friend, some thanks, because I want to have these cards so I can um, just have them on hand. And all of this paper is from the, uh, oh, look how cute, it's got a little bow on the U. Um, all of this paper is from the Pink Fresh Studio, and I really love how thick that cardstock is. Now, the only, oh, actually, no, the only one that isn't is this one, because it has a wood veneer, but I felt that if I used it for the cuts, it might not really show, but I have a wood veneer paper myself, and it's called, um, it's by Kaiser Craft called Cork. But I cut out several that say, hello, friend, thank you, and I think I had some love, but here's the acetate that I, I used, and I cut it up into little, little hearts, so that way you can kind of see them through the shaker card. And all this other stuff. And some sequins, oh, of course. All right, so let me put that, and I can just, I've just been putting this into that, um, uh, blah, 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 into the cube over in the corner. Okay, so this is the acetate bag. Now, you're gonna put it in here. We're gonna cut it, am I even in frame? Okay, we're gonna cut it, f uh, fill it with stuff, or, I mean, and then you can, I would fill it with stuff first so you can still see, and then we're going to cover it with the top layer. And if you can see, oops, you will see the little plastic, the acetate right there, so that's where you can cover it with the circles. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to put uh, adhesive. Let me just make sure this is down. I'm gonna put, so anyway, um, I'm trying to cut off a little snip of a thing that I think it just, I think I might have made a boo-boo. Um, when I fold it, there's like a little hair. So anyway, and instead of trying to undo it and everything, why? Okay, so we're going to, and be careful because you do have this kind of um, thin edge. You're just going to put along the inside edge of this. And if you have a cell phone uh, die or a cut, it doesn't have to be turned into an iPad. I just wanted to make an iPad because it's bigger and I could put more stuff and it would be easier for me to show you with it. Okay, so you're going to, am I in frame? Yes. Okay, you're going to, oops, you're going to center it and you're going to leave. And if this is acetate, if you mess up, you just pick it up and. Okay, and you're going to leave, so you don't put it up to the edge because this way you have, um, when you glue the the front layer, the actual face of the iPad, it'll, it'll, um, it'll have a place to, to glue. So now we're just going to cut off, we're going to cut off the excess. if I'm even in frame, and I might not have cut it well. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the rest of it in a minute. I just wanna kinda get through this video. And see, and here's the little pocket. And now you're going to add all of your sequins, all of your goodies, and I'm just gonna trim that down in a minute. Actually, you know what, I should probably just do it now so I'm not shaking everything about, because this is a shaker card, not the hokey pokey. I know that was a horrible joke, but I am kinda tired from work. <laughs> okay, because that way, it stays hidden inside of the um, inside of the shaker card. But you want to make sure that you have room. Oh, how embarrassing! I told you this all messed up. You want to make sure that you have room for you to glue the um, whoop, glue the actual paper to paper. Of course, these things are much easier when you're not doing them on camera. <laughs> How embarrassing. Okay, so that's good. So we're going to go ahead and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, I like these clear iridescent sequins and these are, I got from, these I got from Joann's. And so for this one, we'll do the pink. I'll, put, I'll do the thank you. So it's gonna go in there. So I'm, now let me get my sequence to kind of match with it. We'll throw in these. And this is just, and these I did get the sequence. I, the only clear ones that I, I mean, the only ones that I got uh, from Joann's were the clear ones. The rest of these I did get from Tracy Store Art Attack Supplies. And they come in sections of colors, like a color scheme. There's a baby one, there's, um, 
blues, and let me see. And here we'll throw a hint of this one, and then I'll put up, probably put some more uh, blue. Uh, what should we call it? Of blue. Um, not blue. <laughs> clear. Okay. So see how they move around and. Where's the other? I just had to go to Hobby Lobby yesterday. And I got... No, not Hobby Lobby, excuse me. Joanne's. Because I didn't want to order anything online. So I went ahead and bought some more of these. And I'll just put them in, those zip, in the Ziploc bag. And always shake your sequins because they all stick together. Okay. So look how shimmery that looks. Look how pretty that looks. Okay. So at this point, you can also put... Oh, I totally hit the camera with my big old head. Uh, some acetate pieces. We're going to put some hearts. Some little hearts. And I'm putting everything in there. And if you are uncertain about, you know, getting the things in there, I've used my bone folder to just kind of move things around. And you can use your ruler, you can use your tweezers. Actually, I don't recommend using your tweezers because you might um, actually uh, damage the bag, so. Okay, all right. So we're going to put the thank you, but also the cool thing is you can look, and see how the black from the back, the, the black print detracts from the actual picture? I'm going to put that back there so it's going to look, let me get closer, like, um, like the front part, but you're not really gonna see much, and that way you can actually write on it. Okay, so what should I do the, you know what, I think I'm going to do that one because it shows off better with the pinks. All right, but let me first go ahead and put, where are my acetate right? See, seriously, let me see if I can put some of these in there. And the cool thing is, since it's a little suspended shaker card, you can see what, um, oops, what, um, what you're putting in there. Let me see, maybe, you know what? Yes, because that says, uh, thank you. It says merci. Uh, I don't want to put the same color as the one that are the, the ones that are already in there because the letters will kind of fade into the background. See, and you can just stick the, of course, sequence gets everywhere. And you know how I feel about sequence the herpes of the sewing community just like um glitter is the herpes of the crafting community all right so i have the some triangles in there i'm gonna put now i'm going to add the thank you and i make sure to add it on top of everything okay so now if you're worried about and i should have done I should have done this part first, but once again, the is not paying attention. Now, you can, the first one I actually went ahead and put ATG in here. Um, but it was hard and it shook everything. So what we're going to do, this is the 1 8 inch score tape. Because you can add this. Like I said, maybe I should have added it before, but there's not much shaking, tossing about going on. Back in you sequence, you evil things. You pretty evil things. All right, so <clears throat> this is so very unprepared, you guys, but look, this is how I craft. Like, if you guys knew how much dilemma I go back and forth deciding on what to do, what to add, where my tools went. Like, right now, I'm trying to find my paper piercer because I have fat, chunky hands and I mess up my nails all the time that I don't have nails to pull off. So, here we go. I pull it out. And then I... That was my finger rubbing on it. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. Okay. So there. Here is our suspended shaker card. Let me now move all of these yummy goodies out of the way. So you can get a better look. Okay. So 
At this point, now we are going to take my ATG. And here is my face of my card. And I'm going to put, of course, being careful that I don't go off to the edge, um, tape on the back side of it. And if you go through the little hole with the glue, that'll be fine because I'm going to put the little circles back in. But yeah, so I don't know if you guys prefer to have um, the videos where I just fast forward and do the voiceover and stuff. But I just kind of wanted to try this. You guys let me know which which seems better. So okay, so now we have adhesive on the the back you're going to lightly put it above the whole thing. And there we go. It's made contact well. <laughs> I didn't boo it up, and I might have, but it still looks so cute, and it'll distract. So, yeah, and you got to make sure you, you get that uh, adhesive to stay. And I should have flattened this out a little more before I completely sealed it. There's a little bit of air. But look how cute that is. You see, you can still see the items. And look at that. It's my little suspended shaker card. But yeah, I should have maybe squeezed out some air. Okay, so what we're going to do at this point now, is this the one that went to this? No. Is this the one that went to this? I'm sitting here playing like an odd little game of what the heck did I do? Okay. So what we can do is figure out where the little square was here. You can hear me crunching over the, uh, put that right there. And the reason why I did it face down, because now I'm just going to bring the back around and press it down. And look, and look, what I like about the paper is that, oh, I put too much glue on the side, is that since it's double-sided, the back, it has the color. See, look, it kind of, I went over on one side. I boo-booed that up. I went over on one side, but, um, look at that. Imperfection is beautiful. And that is and that is it. And you can still write something here. It's clear it's clear enough. I chose the paper to make these cards um clear, almost uh more simple, so I can I am able to um uh write in there. So okay, so here's a little circle that was cut out here. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it because you can still see the little cut line. And that way it looks just like the iPad where it's just a little button inlaid. And the funny thing is the other one I lost here somewhere. It's it fell off my desk. <laughs> Embarrassing. Alright. So there is that one. See, and they stand up. And since this cardstock is pretty heavy, it um it holds up pretty well. I think I might have put too much stuff in there, but I really like how it looks. And see, it moves around, it has a little bit of motion. And when it's standing up, here, I'll take the camera off, my phone off. When it's standing up, look at that. It still has, oh, sorry for the shakiness, you guys. It still has the phrase right there and what you, the sentiment you're sending out. So that one, there's that. So you guys, I let me know what you guys think. Like I said, sorry that this video was a little bit longer than what you guys are used to or what I usually put. Oh, no, I think it's just about the same amount of time. They're usually like 20, 30 minutes when I have a tutorial or um or a process video. So yeah, I think I might've put too much stuff in here. But next time, if you guys do this, please remember, maybe take some cardboard, some paper and squeeze before you put, squeeze all the air out because I have a feeling this one just has a little bit more than this one. But I did put way more sequence, if you notice, than this one. So, and, and the cool thing is, well, I think the cool thing is it looks just like a card and uh, until they open it, they see, I'm telling you, I have to get rid of this. I think some, I accidentally had some, some adhesive there. But see, I make mistakes. Um, it looks just like a card, but when they open it, they see that it's actually a shaker card. A little, well, I'm going to call it a suspended shaker card. I don't know if I can actually call it a full-on shaker card. So, um, there is that. And, like I said, these, um, this will fit. I, I, I size this to fit in a 5x7 card. And I like that it has layering. It has layers. It has motion. And I can, look at that. I can ship it. 
in a, a, a card envelope and um, I could ship it in a card envelope and it'll be just, I just realized what I forgot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. I forgot my stars. Look, I forgot to put in some stars. But anyway, in all actuality, you could really open this again. Um, but look, I have it. I, I glued it so well, I can't. So, um, but I do have the stars. Ugh, I totally booed with that one. I think I was just nervous trying to show you guys. So anyhow, when you do this with uh, several different, um, different size cards, I will show you a little sneak peek of another one. If you stuck around this far, this long, I will show you a sneak peek of my Christmas cards. Yay! Well, I'm a little excited. I use the same technique. Check that out. And this is using Tilda paper that I once again got from artattacksupplies.com. Look. And this looks, I love this. This is from the, what is it called? This is from the Sweetheart Collection. I used this little uh, die cuts and I used, of course, a mason jar. I made my own card face from, um, on my, once again, my cameo, my cameo, uh, silhouette design store, studio thing. Put the, um, sequence. It's the same thing. Now these, I did, Tracy did send me these and these, if I'm not mistaken, these are in her shop. She has various sizes. This one is almost four. I think it's like four by six. And I did the same thing where I layered that in there. Um, but what I did was I made the front and I also made a back part with the same cutout, which I also styled on my cameo. Look, you can see where the color kind of changes and look at that. And this one stands right there. Also can be shipped so flat. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And this one is five by five and this I have, a, I'll have a video, a separate video, but I wanted to show you guys. So if you guys stuck along, uh, stuck around for that, you got a little sneak peek at some of my crafty friend, um, Christmas cards because it looks like and even uh at least I, I did send a little picture to Elise um that it looks like a fire bug in a mason jar so yes so hopefully that you guys that was useful um sorry for the long video but I appreciate if you stuck around to the end so thank you much thank you thank you so much I actually have another one that where did it go like seriously I have another one that I'm gonna finish right now and this one is using this other pa the same uh, paper collection but it's using this striped paper Look how cute that is going to be. And I'm actually thinking of doing, oh no, I can't do that one. This one on the back as opposed to having the stripes, but who knows, I might get crazy. So that one is right there. So that is the easiest way that I could possibly think of making a shaker card, you guys, without having to use all the foam and everything, right? So thanks for stopping by and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.